OK, Ian, um, first things first, if one of your players did what Anthony did, what would you do? Wow, was it relevant? Was it needed? Uh, he would be getting a flea in his ear, to be honest. I, I would be, you know, other players, it's disrespectful. I don't even know what he's thinking, you know. Um, unnecessary nonsense, you know. Practice that off the pitch, on the training ground. But when you go out there, you've got to be realistic. He gave the ball away mm. two seconds later, kicked it straight out, you know. So, come on. You know, he's had a great start. I don't, wanna, I don't know him. Obviously, his manager knows him. His manager won't put up with that. And neither will the other players, you know. That's, that's not... It's disrespectful and it's silly, so grow up a bit, you know? That's you told. Uh, <laughs> You're picking on me today. No, that's I sound quite... like an old grumpy old devil, don't I? Heck Victor no. Meldrew. I'm not bit, Victor Meldrew. Bit of discipline, that's what we that's need. That's the whole point. It happened to Cristiano Ronaldo, didn't it, as well? You can imagine the talks yeah. between him and Eric Ten Hag. How do you think he handled the whole situation? Because he's come back, he started, he scored a goal. You saw how frustrated he was when he couldn't manage to, to score. Well... Football people are allowed to have emotion and show emotion, you know. I'm sure you grew up with your dad who, any time you lost or you didn't get what you want, we're not nice, are we? We're not normally nice. So, you know, I understand that <laughs> a spur-of-the-moment thing, I'm not going on and he walks off, so, you know. Mm. That, that's not him normally. Um, so I'm glad they've sorted it out. It's a big problem for the manager. If you have someone like this... And the fans are expecting him to play. If he's not playing as well as he was or he's not doing what the team want, then great. But, you know, I saw Roy Keane and I, I, I was chuckling that the passion that Roy showed about this man mm. with Gary Neville the other day and the respect that Gary said. But what he got was wrong. We're all allowed to make a mistake. So nothing pleased me more last night than to see him get his header in. He's already scored two and they're both disallowed. He gets his header in and when he lands, what does he do? Follow straight up. He left two defenders. Great save by the goalie bank. That's what... Just keep doing that, son. Honestly, no matter what you do, keep doing that. Kevin Phillips I had when he was 39, mm -hmm. right? And he scored a hat-trick, and then I left him out, put him sub. He didn't moan, he didn't... He just went on in the next game and scored. He respected my judgment. So, I'm sorry, son, you have to do that. Please don't ruin the genius that you are by being still too hungry right now. Keep your hunger... Keep it under your hat a little bit. Maybe he needs to borrow one of my hats to keep it under his hat. There you go. Probably ruin his hat. But I'm delighted. What a top-class player, isn't he? So, what, you know. what about Harry Maguire and a top-class player that he has been but had his frustrations? <clears throat> he has returned from injury. How important is it for him to have game time ahead of the World Cup and building up his confidence as well? Well, I really, I'm a great admirer of Harry. You know, when he first went to Manchester United, everybody was like, eyebrows were off the top of their head, 85 million, you know, come on, is he? And, and he was immaculate for them, brilliant for England. He's still the same player, but everybody goes through ins and outs and ups and downs in their life. And, you know, I, I'm, I believe he'll be strong enough to get over this. As a manager, I, I, if someone wasn't playing well, the easier thing is to leave them out and let them have a break and sit on the bench and do that. But, you know, we're going into a World Cup and I believe we can win it. I believe we're still improving. I believe our manager rested the important players after the last Euro, the disappointment on penalties. That was all it was, disappointment on penalties. Um, and he was right to rest them because we have this strange time of a c competition mm. spliced in the middle of our, our season. So I understand it and I think you need people at the top of their form to come in and play for England at the top of their form. So I hope Harry has jumped up and down and said, look, I can still do this for you, Gareth. But Gareth, I remember going into the last tournament, we had Harry Kane who wasn't firing on all cylinders and neither was Raheem Sterling, who were fantastic in that tournament. So, in Gareth, I trust. So, it's as simple as that. Do you think he'll take him? I think he will, yeah. I think he'll have to. Mm. But that's down to Harry. I mean, if he plays the next couple of games and has a nightmare, don't take him. But True. I believe Harry wants to be there. Mm.